think we all understand George. I know, I'm certainly feeling it right now yeah. with the sunshine that we've seen this whole week. Really just makes a person feel really good. It does. I know. And we there's get more on the way? For the most part, yeah. We do have a couple of showers that we have to talk about, unfortunately, for the end of the week. But in general, really, we've just had a great stretch of weather. No other way to talk about it. High temperatures for today once again got into the mid to upper 50s in most parts. Got to 60 in areas in Bangor and Millinocket today. Temperatures inland overall were a little bit warmer because right along the coastline, we did see a sea breeze. So some of these higher temps right along the coastline are from earlier in the day. Now, we did have a warm front that was kind of knocking on our door step all day, but that kind of brought some of these late day clouds into areas in western Maine here, but we didn't end up seeing that much precipitation from that. This is a radar loop over the past six hours, so at the very beginning of the loop, it looks like a pretty strong warm front. However, you see the showers start to fall apart once they get into our area. That's because the air mass over us here in Maine is incredibly dry, and we can see that with the dew points here. A lot of the dew points only in the upper 20s to lower 30s, even at this hour, so that's very dry air. So when the warm front tries to come into our area competing with that, a lot of those showers didn't even reach the ground. The radar beam was able to pick them up higher in the atmosphere. But overall, we only really saw a couple of showers in western Maine as that warm front continued to just kind of fall apart, reaching that drier air. So overnight tonight, we're still going to see those cloud co that cloud cover in areas in western Maine, and that's how we're going to start the day on Friday. Kind of a tale of two states here. Plenty of sunshine in areas in eastern Maine, but still thick clouds in western Maine and areas of New Hampshire throughout the day. And then we start to build in some more cloud cover late Friday night ahead of a cold front that will be moving through. So that'll bring in a couple of showers late Friday night and into the overnight hours. And we do start the day Saturday with kind of the most rain that we've really seen all week. So we'll start out with some more rain there, especially areas in western Maine seeing a bit of heavier rain. But this system will move through relatively quickly. So by the time we get to the afternoon on Saturday, that heaviest rain has moved out of eastern Maine. And we're really just left with mostly cloudy conditions and a couple of showers that'll last through Saturday evening and early overnight. And then once we get into Sunday, we'll be relatively clear overnight, but we'll pick up a bit of cloud cover later in the day. But still overall, we end the weekend on a pretty positive note. Temperatures a little bit cooler there on Sunday, only getting into the upper 50s. So once that system moves through, things are pretty quiet until we get to about Wednesday of next week, where we're watching this system with a stronger cold front that'll give us a better chance of showers throughout the day there next Wednesday. Rain forecast sees two feet, water 46 degrees. So in terms of our seven day forecast, overall, even the rain that we are going to see this weekend, overall, it's not going to be super impactful, especially later in the day on Saturday. It'll start to get nice there too. The end of the week will start to be a little bit warmer with temperatures getting into the upper 50s. And then Zach, we even start next week on a very sunny note. Temperatures a little bit cooler out there. And then after this weekend, we won't have to worry about precip until Wednesday. Sounds good. Thanks, Dana.